So, we have done this uh, dictionary classification of these words, mm. in particular we had marked out all the pronouns and the nouns by putting them under these uh, headings. But uh, one of the things normally when you write a sentence is that you have a kind of action happening between one noun and another. So, verb, yeah, yeah, verb. like uh, Swaminathan goes to school. Goes is the verb. Yeah. So, Swaminathan and school. So, yeah. Swaminathan is the subject. Subject, the yeah. And goes is the verb which is action hmm. and school is the object, object yeah. or going to. Yeah, basically going something. to the school or yeah, or whatever, something, some relationship hmm. between Swaminathan and school hmm. res exp expressed by goes. Yeah. The relationship is expressed so, by so yeah. So, these two nouns are somehow it's connected. 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 So, there is a verb and it seems to connect nouns. Yeah. And these nouns are all part of the same sentences. Yeah, same sentence, but uh, but they should be connected by a verb. You cannot just have, so supposing it was say Swaminathan and his brother go to the school, yeah. then brother is also a noun, Swaminathan is also a noun, yeah. but they are connected by and oh, okay. on the same side as the verb. Okay. So, we really want to look at this connection uh, across the verb, I think, not uh, just in the same sentence. Okay. But there should not be any uh, other type of connection between them like a conjunction and is a conjunction or. Yeah. Okay. So, should we look for nouns which are separated by verbs, two nouns which are yeah. which have a verb. Yeah, so this is a relation that we have a verb in between them. It may not be absolutely accurate, we yeah. the so verb sitting in between the two nouns. Yeah. And we can say that these two nouns are then connected to each other. And also they should not be, they should be in the same sentence Sentence, or they should yeah. be in the same part of the. Sometimes sentences are very long and they are yeah, contain lot of these clauses. clauses and all that. Yeah. So, then they should be within a clause. Yeah. You look at find out of it. Yeah, we can, we can find out. Yeah. Right. Just do it informally at least we can no. find out. Yeah. So, should we say that it should be two, two nouns hmm. separated by a verb and do not have between the nouns there is nothing, there is no full stop, hmm. there is no comma, hmm. these are the things huh, to yeah. identify. No full stop, comma, semicolon, colon. Yeah. Huh? So that or is a, or conjunctions yeah, like and, and, and or, or yeah. any of these conjunction words. Correct. If they are not there, but hmm. huh? yes. things like that, then, then we can say that these two nouns are connected, connected or related to each other. Yes, they are connected to each other. Should we find yeah. connection between the nouns? Let's try and find out. Yeah. Now all the nouns are there. All the nouns we already know, fortunately. So we just have to go through and see. So clearly between now we have a problem, right? So. Uh, they are neighboring nouns. Neighboring nouns. So, there is nothing in between them. So, we would have to say that uh, it was and in a sense Monday, Monday and, and morning. morning are both connected through was to it actually. So, maybe we should connect pronouns and nouns also. Should we connect pronouns also? We have pronouns, pronouns also. We have pronouns also. Yeah. Pronouns are usually resolved to something. Yeah. But they stand for nouns. So, okay. because, so we also connect. Connect. because otherwise we may not. We will take both pronouns. Yeah. Take, take so, we pronouns. can say for instance, we can say that the zero pronoun. Zero pronoun. Is connected. Is connected by was. Is connected by was. The verb was. To Monday to and mon to morning. Yeah. So, so, it is connected to Monday and is connected to morning. Yeah. So, zero is connected to two and zero is connected to three. Okay. So, I am just drawing this. Now, since this sentence ended, hmm. nothing can, connect. nothing from this sentence can connect to another sentence. Correct. Because the boundary is there, sentence yes. boundary. Yes. So, we leave this now. Yeah. It is over. This part is over. Yeah. Now, we have to see. Yeah, correct. Now, Swaminathan another now. Yes. Okay. So, 4 is connected by the verb was hmm. to, to, so far no ah, eyes. Eyes. So, 4 is connected, connected to 10, 10 and then again we reach a sentence boundary. And then sentence boundary, so 4 is connected 10. Hmm. So, he is 11. So 4 is what? 4 so, is Swaminathan. So, by the way, yeah, so this 9 was a pronoun which we skipped over. So, maybe we should also say it is connected to 9 and 10. Right? Oh, okay. 9 as a pronoun. Oh, yeah, his, his eyes. His, okay, okay. okay. So actually, it is one unit, so a little bit unclear, but let us just keep it this way. So, yeah. His, his yeah. So, let us put a 9 here, just nine. see what happens. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, now we are saying 11 is a new sentence mm. which starts with he mm. and what is he connected to. And so now this he is actually the same as Swaminathan. Yeah. So, we should have resolved it. Yes. So, should we, should we do that? 11 is the same as uh, 4. 
Okay. So, so just put a dotted line or something because we resolved it. Yeah, or I'll just write it in a different color above it. Okay. Sure. Okay. So eleven. So even this is ten is four, but I, I, that's I mean nine. That is anyway, they are yeah. connected. Yeah. yeah. Considered is a verb. So yes. now we are looking at how this. Uh, so Monday, Monday is now connected. Right. So Swaminathan is connected to Monday. Is thirteen. Yeah. Is it the same as one of those? It was Monday morning. Three. Uh, the same word. Yeah, same word, but it's a different occurrence of the word. Right? Doesn't matter, but we want to see whether they are related. Right? Okay. So then, uh, should we put that this is the same as same three? As two. Uh, two or three? Two. 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 Okay. So thirteen and two are the same. Yeah. Okay. So we'll so we'll maybe later on we'll draw we'll, this we'll, more. We'll resolve. Yeah. Okay. So one day, especially unpleasant in the calendar, calendar. which is eighteen. Mm -hmm. So that is connected to. Okay. Then the sentence boundary came, so we are gone. Hmm. Otherwise, every sentence will look very different. Yeah, yeah, correct. Something has to link between correct. sentences. It's the same word actually. Yeah. Okay. Uh, after the delicious freedom. Freedom is twenty two. Twenty two. Mm -hmm. Of Saturday. So twenty two and twenty four. Yeah, but there is no connection yet. Not yet connection. And Sunday, so that is twenty six. Twenty six. So these are all disconnected right now. So it now connected. It was was is the connecting verb. So okay. I put twenty seven also because I mean it is not a great word, but we'll just keep it. There. Okay. Difficult. Difficult to get into the. This is the same Monday. Yeah, same Monday. Monday mood. So Monday is connecting everything. Yeah. Actually. So what is that? Thirty-four. Huh? That is thirty-four. So thirty-four is all of these are connected to thirty-four, uh. which is the same as two. Two. Okay. And right. all of these are also connected to mood. Mood. So I'll draw another collection of edges here. Right. Thirty-five. Hmm. The same is oh. true of thirty-seven. Thirty-seven. So we have a bunch of arrows. All of these are connected. So these, all these four are connected to all these three by that okay. one verb. Okay. And discipline also. And discipline also. <laughs> God. Okay. okay. Yeah. So, and then it ended. Ah, huh? ended. Yeah. Okay. okay. Finally, yeah. fortunately, yeah. this yeah. ended. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Now we have forty, which is again Swaminathan. Forty is he, which we resolve to Swaminathan. Yeah. So that's again a four. Yeah. So we can see something, right? This is introducing Monday. Hmm. This is introducing Swaminathan. Hmm. And then Swaminathan appears again here. Swaminathan and here. is connecting to Monday. Yeah. And then this is again connecting to Monday. Monday, here. and then few things are being said about Monday. Yeah. You're not saying anything about Swaminathan so far. Yes. And then Swaminathan is. You said about Monday. You said about Swaminathan. You said about Swaminathan and Monday. You said something about Monday. More, lot of things about Monday. And now are something about. Now Swaminathan. we are trying. Hopefully, you are saying more things about Swaminathan. Let us yeah. see. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> is it interesting? Yeah. Huh? It's a good way of thinking about the way the paragraph. Paragraph is, is flowing. Yeah, flowing. Yeah. Okay. He is now Swamina, right? 40. Yes. Okay. So forty. Verb shuddered. So mm. this is a connecting. Mm. At the very thought. It's okay. So this is now connected. Four is connected to forty-five. Forty-five thought. Huh? Mm -hmm. Of school. Okay. So four is also connected to school now. Yeah. Swamina is connected to school. The dismal yellow building, connected building. Hmm. I am losing the sequence. All right. Hmm. Okay. Building the fire ride. Where did I go? Okay. Fifty-four. Fifty-four. Okay. Hmm. His is pronoun. Hmm. So that's. This is supposed to be Swamina then again. <coughs> Uh, four. Yeah. So which is five? Put four on top. Yeah. Okay. Class. Okay. So I'm running out of space below. So I'm going to put it up. Yeah. Fifty-six. Teacher. Teacher. And headmaster. Fifty-nine. Okay. With his his. So this is sixty-one, and this is a different. This is actually the headmaster. So this is 
That is Veda Nayagam. Yeah, Veda Nayagam, which was 51, I think. Okay. Okay. Look. 51, I think, to 50. go back. Yeah, 54. 54, sorry. Okay, 54. Okay. 54. Mm. Thin, uh, thin, long, cane. 64. 64. So this is this is a long sentence about four about Swaminathan. Yeah. So now what we are trying to say is that if we try to do this uh, connection across these uh, things, you are saying that we have zero is connected to two, is connected to three, but this. 2 is actually this is thing. 13. Mm. So then from that sentence, this 2 as 13, so maybe I will just put it the other way around. 2, 13 again, but okay, after that it is 13, yeah, 13. Is connected to 11, mm. which is connected back to 18. Mm. Mm. Right? Mm. And now we have the same 2 is connected through this to everything. Mm. Yeah. Right? So, this is connected here to 22, 24, 26, 27, right? And here we have 34, sorry, 34 is already done, 35. So, again, I will put maybe here just to emphasize that this is the 34 connection mm. coming here. 35, 37, 39, mm. but here now I have this complete, what we said earlier, click. Ah. So, this is like a click, right? Is Except it is from left to right, so it is not everything connected. Everything on the left is connected to everything, everything on the right. Right. Mm -hmm. right. So, this is a connection and then what we Please have. just hanging. Yeah. So, now we have to somehow 4, 4, 4, where is 4? We left. 4 is here. Four, 11. This 11 so, is 4. 4 is actually the same as 11. So, we will mark it. 4 and put 11 in bracket. Because four, yeah, is the 4 is the main thing. So, I make this 11. So, this is through 11 it is connected. Hmm. But 4 is connected to 10 and 9 in the first Yeah, instance. 4 is connected to 10 and 9 and then 4 is connected to no And things then here. 4 in, as 40 gives us a connection to everything on the end, right? Yeah. So, we have this whole so you know i mean it looks to me that everything is connected to everything here actually yeah and it ought to be you no know, in a paragraph so all the nouns get connected the nouns, eventually if the nouns don't get connected to each other in a paragraph then there is something uh, there are two parallel things yeah two stories two, two thoughts which are going through the paragraph connecting one group of nouns and another group of nouns and they are not no meet, they're not meeting two. Right, they are not meeting. Should not write in one paragraph. Yeah, so therefore, so paragraph should, normally in a paragraph. Yeah, paragraph is supposed to be a kind of a, a coherent, coherent or a combined. Yeah, something which talks about one, one topic. Thing. One topic. In this case, you are talking about Monday and Swaminathan. Yeah, but, but they, they are, are connected. They are definitely connected. Right. So, so the nouns should be. I mean, you are making a graph here, right? I am making a graph. And you are able to reach everything from one node to another node. There is a way to go. Yeah. So, Connect. the graph looks connected, I mean, is it because it is a connected graph? Yeah. So, I would call this a connected graph because you can go from what everywhere graph? to everywhere yeah. within this graph. So, it is so it is not broken off into two little disjoint, like this, this piece and this piece are disjoint. Yeah. But actually, they are not disjoint because they are the same element. Yeah. So, they are coming there and then coming back. So, you go there and then so you 2 takes me there. And then this 11 is connected to this 4. So, that is what we saw. 2 so takes this is a connected graph. So, this is a connected graph. So, so from anywhere in this graph, I so started 39 same. for instance, mm. I can go to 56, 56 because I can follow this path and go around and then come back. Oh, is okay. Right? So, so it is a connected graph. So, a graph, so in a paragraph, the nouns, if you draw the relationship between the nouns, an edge between the nouns as. Yeah, and now unlike that earlier thing when we were doing the binning. We are saying that this Monday, which comes in different places, is actually the same, the Monday. same Monday, right? So we are actually because that is how. Otherwise, it doesn't make any sense. If every time I see a new word in a new sentence, it's a different Swaminathan or it's a mm. different school, right. it would make no sense. No so sense. obviously, when I say school in a paragraph, all, the schools, all the schools should be the same. 
So, by that connection we are able to connect across otherwise we could not connect as you pointed out each sentence would give me a separation. Mm. So, the only way I can connect across sentences by saying that this Swaminathan is this Swaminathan or that uh, Monday is that Monday and mm. so on. Mm. Mm. So, so that is that's an interesting thought. So, now if I actually do this and I find that there are two that I find a different some that part and then I find a different part here which is not connected Connect to it. that. that, means that then this is a different sentence which is kind of or a group so of sentences which is crept into this paragraph hmm. and it is not making sense. So, this is a beautiful tool now, I, I cannot see that, I mean, I, do you see any tools like this? <laughs> well, nobody, yeah. Yeah, nobody so maybe this tool is, like, yeah, so maybe we can uh, use this for, yeah, for people who are… find out whether a paragraph for, is yeah, coherent. Maybe we can tell our English instructors <laughs> that they can <laughs> use graphs. They can use graphs. <laughs> To mark the students who write. Pass, you can give pass or fail or give marks <laughs> yeah. based on whether the paragraph yeah. is correct. You just need to find out. Yeah, correct. yeah. And in fact, you know, when people say, right, your thinking is not, is they say it is disjointed. Disjointed. So, disjointed is exactly disjointed. this, right. It is not connected. connected. It is not connected. So, it is disjointed. You are make, not making sense. What you are saying is not holding together. Yeah. Right. So, this is literally holding together the nouns. And if the no nouns do not hold together, your thoughts are not holding together. So, oh. this is a, it's a very, very interesting thing. Yeah, very interesting. Very good. All right.